All right, everyone. So one of the best moments of the after finals process was the you know moments between Tatum and Deuce. So we're gonna give you some video that was captured of them celebrating, and then what Tatum said, Deuce said to him. You're gonna love this. Jason, I'm curious to know what you said to Deuce after this, but I guess I'm more curious, what did Deuce say to you? <laughs> he told me that I was the best in the world. And I said, you damn right I am. <laughs> you know, this really is one of the best, like, sub storylines to, I mean, really every Celtics season, but especially this one, because, you know, you watch those videos from the early time when, you know, Tame was in the league and clearly Deuce is much younger. But it's like Tatum always says, they kind of grew together in the league. And now to see both of them on the finals floor here celebrating, you know, you just know it was awesome for Deuce, it was awesome for Tatum, and this is one of those memories that they'll never forget, you know, and that's kind of the best part about it. But one thing we wanted to bring up too in this video is, you know, Jason Tatum and how he reacted versus like Jalen Brown or some of the other players, you could just tell how much of a weight this really was on his shoulders. And it's not, it's not to say that any of these other guys, you know, weren't 100% locked in to winning or they weren't excited. Everyone was excited and going off. But Tatum especially, it looked like it really hit him. And obviously when you're the guy that's taking the brunt of the criticism, because look, Jalen Brown, he took heat too in a big way, you know, but people just kind of thought he wasn't good enough. I mean, that was kind of the deal with him is everyone was like, oh, he can't dribble his left hand. He's not really good enough to be on, you know, the second or the first best player on a championship team. But the criticism Tatum got came from a different place. You know, like I said, Jalen Brown was all basically over his, his skill, right? Whereas Tatum's, it went deeper. It was more uh, criticism of, he has all this skill, but he's not mentally strong enough. It was those type of things that I, that, you know, those are really probably right on you, especially if you're, you know, Tatum and you were viewed as the best player for basically, you know, the last at least three, four seasons, you've been the best player in this team. And, you know, that has to just pile up. And for Jalen Brown, this, you could tell the same thing, all of that, getting that off his chest. But, you know, for Tatum especially, because he was getting the brunt of that, like, this team isn't mentally strong enough. They don't actually have the 1A guy. Sure, his stats are good, but he's actually not that good when it, when they need him. So I just thought this was an awesome interview or an awesome response, and all of this was fantastic. So I wanted to share with everyone. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you next.